Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, it's been a little bit since I've created a video, but um, I am coming out with a blog post that should kind of talk about what I've been up to, um, why I haven't created a video in a while. It should be pretty relatable for a lot of people in IT. But anyway, I wanted to start with something, you know, a little bit shorter video with a simple concept, but does have some configuration gotchas to take a look out for. And that is configuring BGP communities and using it to influence local preference. Now, this is a common implementation that, you know, I've seen at various ISPs. Um, I use it at my current job and I've used it at past jobs peering with ISPs. And the way it works is communities are just tags. So the way the network is set up right now is that R1, if it wants to send any traffic to AS34, it just sends it this way. R2, if it wants to send any traffic to AS34, it just sends it that way. There's no special configuration to just, you know, get it over there. Um, in this network, what we'll want to do is we'll want to have everything go over this link, you know, and out. And instead of just doing local preference, we're going to use communities. So how it'll be configured is that on AS34, we'll basically set a tag. You know, we'll just tag with some community value and send that route over into AS12. AS12 will then receive the route and say, hey, if something has this community value, set the local preference to something. Now, the community value is usually in the format of A, A, which is the AS number, and then colon, colon, number, number. So for example, we could use AS 34. So we could say 34, colon, colon, and then a number that we would use to represent the local preference that we want. So if we did 90, we would set the local preference to 90. If we did 34, colon, colon, 110, we would set the local preference to 110. Now, none of this is done by default, but it's just going to show you the concept of what we're doing. So without further ado, let's jump into router two and see that router two is just sending everything directly over to router four, and then we'll use the community tags to change that. So router two, let's do a show IP BGP. We see the carrots for 3333 and 4444 are going directly to router four. So if we trace from our loop back, router four to router three. Awesome, that's the way we've had it set up. Now, let's use the communities. So like I said, from router three, we're gonna set the community tags. So let's go to router three. And the configuration is simple for the most part, but there is one thing that is kind of a gotcha. So let's create a route map and let's just call it set community. We'll just permit 10. And we're just setting community, whoops, community. And you see, we have a number of different things we could do. We have some well advertised, you know, well known ones. We're not gonna get into that in this video, but we could do community number or we could do it in this AA colon NN format, which is what we'll do, it's easy for us. So we'll just do 34 colon uh, 110, right? So we, we want this path to be more preferred, we'll do 110. Now, if we do router BGP 34, and uh, neighbor is going to be 10, 13, 0, 1, route map, is set community and it's out because we're sending the prefixes out if we go over to router one let's do a show ip bgp let's say three 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 i don't see any community tag in this yeah and i'll even do a clear ip bgp soft inbound just to you know prove that there's no if you look in here anywhere we're just gonna you know you might be, Trey, where, where, where is it, where is it? There's nothing in there. The reason why is because with eBGP neighbors, we need to 
neighbor 10 13 0 1 send commuted okay now we could do both extended standard for this one they're just standard communities so we can hit enter and let's go ahead and clear soft in now we have this community now this is not the aa colon nn format but it does mean the same thing we can actually use a simple command to let's go comp t to actually change it so the command is um ip bgp new format so you can see select aa colon nn format for bgp community that's the whole command pretty simple so now if we go back to show ipbgp here's the community with that format so remember when you're setting the community and sending them to use this send community command otherwise the community is not even going to be sent now as we still look back at the, at the table show ipbgp even though we're receiving the community, the local pref is still the same. So just proving the point that it's just a tag by itself, it doesn't do anything. We need to match that and take action on it. So what we'll do, and let me get rid of that, is let's create a route map. We'll call it match underscore community. And this is another configuration gotcha. Very easy to make this mistake. If I say match community 34 110, this is totally valid, but it is not going to work. The reason it's not going to work is because what they actually want here is a community list. They don't want the number. So if you're putting in 34 colon 110, that's saying match the community list of 34 colon 110. So best practice here is don't use numbers. Instead, what you would do is create an IP community list. And instead of doing, you know, some kind of number, whatever, I would use a name. So we'll just use a standard and then give it a name like... Um, Let's do set local pref 110 and then permit. And now here we could actually put in the community number. So in here we would do 34 110. Okay. So, you know, you're going to have some kind of naming convention at the ISP or, or your equipment, whatever it is. We're just going to use set LP 110. Now, if I go back into the route map, so route map match underscore community permit 10. Now we do match community name. So again, I would always recommend doing a name and not a number. And um, that's it. It's weird here too because there's no carriage return. But if you hit enter, you're, you're fine. So the next thing we'll do is once we match that community, we'll set the local preference to 110. All right, and we'll just do a route map match community permit 20 just to allow everything else. Doesn't really matter. So let's do a show run section route map just to kind of show it all on one screen to see what we're doing. So we have a route map permit 10 match community list and I really wish Cisco would would change that to community list but whatever it's match community here's the list name and then we're going to set the local preference to 110 based on that so now all we have to do is just go into router BGP and apply it to our neighbor which is 10 13 0 3 route map and it is match underscore com inbound let's clear ip bgp soft inbound now let's do a show ip bgp and now 
we can see our local preference is 110. If we go to router 2, show IP BGP, now we see the local pref is 110. Whoops, sorry, 110. But notice we're going through router 1 instead. So if we trace to, we could do 3.3 .3 again, goes through 1. Or we could do 4, which is the directly connected router, trace 4444, source loop back 0, or we're going through 1. So the configuration is pretty simple. There's just a few things to remember. So let's quickly recap what we did. We went from R3, we set the community value, so just the tag, we set it to 34 colon 1110. Totally arbitrary, but this is usually the AS number, and this is the number that we would set the local preference to. We send that with the route over to one. Router one matches that community of 34 one one ten and then sets the local pref to one ten okay very simple now from anything in as12 we're going to go out this way okay the only thing to remember in the configuration that's interesting is from router 3's point of view make sure and this is a busy screen so let's kind of uh, show run section router BGP let's clean that up for you so it's easier to look at neighbor 10 13 0 1 we have to use the send community keyword okay or else the community does not get sent with the traff or with the prefix and then again we just have the you know route map out on the inbound side we go back up to our prefix list just remember that the match community should be a name if you want to be clear i mean you could set it to a number but i think it you know will that pass the 2 a.m test um, i get up at 2 a.m i see a number yeah but we're matching the community list of this the community list is just matching 34 colon 110 and then we set the local preference to 110. so if we go back up to the community list uh where was my community list right here it's just one line, permit 34, 110. So the concept of this is really simple. There's just a few configuration things. So I would definitely practice doing this. I mean, if you're gonna be sitting on a, in a CCIE lab, that's gonna be something that would be so easy to trip you up and cost you valuable minutes. Um, and in the real world, obviously, you know, good to know. So I hope this was clear. I'm happy to be back. I wanted to do something, you know, pretty simple, and I definitely plan on making more videos soon. Um, so, hope you guys enjoyed it, and thanks for sticking with me, and we'll see you on the next one.